Good morning, guys. So I'm going to be doing a get ready with me this morning. I'm going to try not to edit it too much. Just see how I get ready naturally every day. But I might edit it just a bit. May especially probably through the parts where I'm silent. But I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll just see when I upload it. So I've already moisturized my skin and applied an eyelid primer and set it. So today I'm just using my Too Faced sweet peach palette and I already set my eyes with white peach and now I'm just going to be going in with Georgia as a nice transition shade I want to go for a very peachy look today so we're just going to see what I come up with today I'm going out with my mom and we are going to Ithaca we are going to Buffalo Wild Wings for lunch and to Truman Park. I know you're probably wondering why are you wearing makeup to go to Truman Park. Well, I want to look decent in case we go anywhere else. And I'll just take it off if I end up going swimming. And like, not a big deal. Ooh, sorry. I keep going so bright. Let me fix that. So, there we go. I think I fixed the problem. Yes, perfect. So, hmm, what do I want to go in with next? So, with my same little Wet n Wild fluffy brush, I'm going to take Summer Yum. And then just put that in the same place. Let's just see. Ooh, oh, the shade. I'm not going to bring it as far in. I want to leave that light peach right there. So I'm just going to focus it on two-thirds of the crease. Oh. So I'm kind of on a time crunch, I think. I have to be to my mom's pretty soon. So I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to do eyeliner because I always fail with doing eyeliner on camera. So we'll see how I'm feeling. I'm not going to wear foundation or anything today, just not feeling it. Oh, where's my brush? So next I'm just going to take my little e.l.f. crease brush and... Oh, I just jammed my brush in that shade. Oh, I hate that. Well, let me just get that off in there. I'm going to go in with PRA now and focus it right in the crease. Mm, love the smell of this palette. It just smells so good. So I'm just going to focus it right in the socket. Socket of my eye. <laughs> Crease of my eye. Well, I guess it is your socket, but that just sounds a little funny. For like beauty terms. Just going to take a little more and define it even more. I haven't played around with this palette in a long time and I don't know why because this palette oh I love it so much I wanted to get it like the first time it was launched but missed out on it so at least I got it this time around so now I'm going to take shake take charmed I'm sure the shade my brush jammed into and I'm just gonna define the outer V a little I like to stamp it first and then rub it and blend it inwards. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Oh, like I said, stamp it. So I'm hoping my camera's not going to stop recording like midway through because it's been doing that a lot lately and it's really annoying. So just pray for me. Hope the best. So I'm going to take more of this shade and, sorry guys, bring it underneath my lower lash line. Oh, oh my god, I poked myself in the eye. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that hurt. And I'm going to connect it to that shade. Oh my god, it burns. Okay, well let's keep going. Oh, I did it again. Oh my god. 
Okay, so there's that. Nice and smoky. So now I'm just going to take my lid brush, clean it a little. Because yesterday I was just playing around in this palette, doing an eye look. So I took, and I took Talk Derby to me. thought, oh, that'll be a nice purple, dark purple put on the lid. It was like really black. So the purple sparkles don't translate. It literally just looks black on your eye. So awesome. I think I'm going to take, hmm, just peachy, right there. Let's try that out. If I don't like it, I'm going to go over it with candied peach. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Of course, nothing on camera ever looks the same as it does in real life story of our lives, right? So I think just for the heck of it, I'm going to mix in some candied peach. Mm, yeah, let's just mix it in just for the heck of it. Pretty, pretty. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, guys. I'm just trying to concentrate. So, there's the eye look. I just want to clean up a little under here. And then what I'm going to do is just take my crease brush with a little bit of puree and just to blend out the edges of the candied peach and just peachy. And then my doo -doo -doo bigger floofy brush and just make sure there's no harsh lines. And then touch up anything you think needs touched up. So let's move on to eyebrows. Any fun, exciting plans for you guys this weekend? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna try to have this video up by uh, hopefully tonight. When I'm recording this, it's Saturday. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna try to have it up by Saturday night. If not, Sunday. I'm gonna try. A little kid just rode by my window and was literally staring at me. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so oh, let me find my eyebrow stuff. Okay, so nope, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna just be using my little LA Colors palette and the brown and a little bit of the gray just to get them so they're not so warm toned. So let's just get it mixed. A little bit of each. So I want to try to come up with a filming schedule. Have videos up at least two to three times a week. It just gets hard with work. But I'm going to try for you guys to get more content out. Maybe like Tuesday, Thursdays or Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I'm going to try for that. And it's a little hectic, like, in my life right now because I'm packing to move home for a little while while they renovate my apartment. So with that, it's just like I feel like I have no time to film. But I'm really going to try. Okay, so I'm just shaping up my eyebrows. I'm sorry, but I've got to be a little quiet. Pretty good, pretty good, don't hate it. Okay. Brow one, let's do brow two. So I have to leave here and I, now I think, oh, soon, like probably in half an hour. I don't have any, my phone with me or anything, so I don't know if I'm gonna do eyeliner because I always mess it up on camera, but we'll see. No foundation, you guys know I don't really. 
wear foundation on a daily just if I want to like look extra glam but it's not a necessity like I don't need it I have pretty nice skin luckily knock on wood I got blessed with some good skin like, don't get me wrong I get the occasional breakout here and there like everyone does but I have pretty nice skin so I don't have to wear foundation on a daily Oh, this eyebrow is a little too high. There we go. Perfect. So there is the brows for the day. So, do, 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 what to do next. So, I mean, these are my eyeliners I've been using lately, just in case you're wondering. NYC and just a little, um, what do you call this? Wet n Wild. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just do some eyeliner. I'm gonna use brown today because I think it'll look good with this eye look. Oh, wish me luck. So I don't think I've done eyeliner in one of my like little makeup videos. So let's give it a try. Oh, oh no. Let's just try it. So, I'm sorry if I get out of focus. Okay. Oh. This makes me so nervous. <laughs> okay, let's do the wing. Okay, so I just started out like that. I know the line's a little woo, but I fixed that, so no worries. Okay, so there it is for the most part. Then I just go and kind of like touch up the line okay so I'm not gonna really talk through this cuz wings are hard so just bear with me I hope I'm at least in the frame so hard so hard on camera okay so there is one wing pretty good pretty good let's do the other eye okay let's go Remember, your wings, they're not going to come out completely perfect on both eyes. Just make them as symmetrical as you can. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even think I'm going to edit, edit this, honestly. I'm just... I'm not feeling it. I'm just going to show you the raw version of how I get ready every day. Well, most days. I don't wear makeup every day. Okay. So there's the line. Then I look it up. And... Again. 
this eye. This wing always turns out fatter because it's my like droopy eye. So, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it because if I don't, if I make it thinner, it doesn't look right. So, I just gotta go with what happens. Like I said, as long as they're like symmetrical enough that you can like tell that it's fine. Like it does not have to be perfect, trust me. It does not, trust me. Okay, so let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go in with doo -doo -doo -doo. mascara. Oh, oh, my foot's asleep. Oh. Okay. Oh, my foot's asleep so bad. <laughs> Let's go in and do my mascara. And let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'll leave everything I'm using down in the description box because I know I literally haven't said, I don't think I've said anything I'm using really, except my eyeshadow palette and my eyebrow thing. So I'll leave it all in the description box. Hopefully. I will try to remember. All right, so let's just coat these babies up. Oh my god, my foot is so asleep, it hurts so bad, I can't stop thinking about it. Oh my god, oh my god, it burns! Oh my god. I guess it's the kind of sitting on the floor and doing your makeup. Oh well, we're just gonna work through the pain. Just keep coating them babies. Lower. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hope that's better. So there is one eye with this mascara. Gotta go do the other mascara. I'm gonna wait for this eye because the eyeliner's still a little wet. I don't want to smear my eyeliner. Okay, there's that eye on mascara. Oh, really makes a difference. Like it really makes a difference. So I smudge it off, let me just lop it off. <laughs> okay, let's do the other eye. Sorry guys, I'm gonna be quiet, a little quiet during this too. Just so I don't get it all over my eyelid. Okay. Now to do the lower. Sorry guys, I gotta hold the mirror up higher for this part. Oh, hold on, my eyes burning. Oh, okay. So one more thing I think I'm gonna do is touch up the um, what do you call it? the shadow on the lower lash line. I think I want it a little more dramatic. So I think. Oops. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I think I will. I think I will, I think I will. Wow, I take a long time to get ready. We've been filming 20 minutes. So this is gonna be a long video. Sorry. Cause honestly, I'm not gonna edit this. It's just gonna be how my life is. If you don't like long videos, I got some shorter ones you can watch, so watch those if you don't like this. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for my 
um, what you call it, mascara to dry, and then I will touch up the lower lash line. So now I'm just going to do my face. Start with some powder. I got mascara all over my finger. Put in this finger. Hey. Rub it round, round, round. Show you blend. Blend, blend. I like to focus it closer to my nose first and then swirl it out because that's where I have a lot of redness and get very oily. And do my nose. Oh, why did my. Careful around my eyebrows. Okay. Blend around and around. Make sure I get my whips. My whips, whips, whips. Okay. So that's good for my powder. Next, I'm gonna go in and bronze up my face with this new little palette thing and it's not new to me i've had it for quite a while but something new i'm using this is like really pigmented so you do not not to really need a lot like see look at that and i just dabbed in doop, doop, very lightly and you get all that color go under my jaw Tap off, go to the other side. And then draw again. And then I like to take a little bit and go under my lip. Oh, I need some chapter stick. I don't know. I don't know where mine is though. Oh, I found it, found it, found it. Just want to show that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to do a little on my forehead. Not a lot. Not too big into forehead contour and bronze and whatever. And then just, I like to start here and blend it in. And then just bring it down. And if you do, okay, the bunched up right there. I do not know why. Let's just take a powder brush and blend it out. Do. <laughs> and then just gonna start pimples. Bring it up again. Same thing on my other side, just temples, bring it up, bring it up, 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 and then if I went a little too crazy, I just take my powder brush and like blend the edges like this. So there's that. And then, what do I want to take? I'm going to take, whoops, sorry. Hmm. Do I want to do the blush in my Rimmel palette or this blush? Let's take the pure blush. Find my blush brush, blush brush, blush brush. And then I'm gonna take this lighter one. It's peachy, so it'll go good with my eye look. It has no pigment. Come on. Oh, there we go. Smile. And then apply. Okay. There's my blush. So, quickly, I'm just going to touch up my 
lower lash line super quick. And then just bring it under. There we go. So, let's see. For highlight, I'm going to take the one in this palette as well. Let's see how this baby works. Let's see. Ooh, it's pretty subtle, but it's pretty. I might just go like this. Let's do the side. Some down my nose, and I'm gonna do my lip. Oh, I like that. Okay, so the last thing I have left to do is my lips. I have two colors. I'm not sure which one I want to wear today. Hmm. I think I want to go with this more coral one. It is called. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. So let me just dab off some of this chapstick. Okay. Oh, and I like to powder over my lip just to make sure it's all like that. And that's a plasma chapper stick. I think this will look pretty with the peach. Let's see. Ooh. I love this color. Alright guys, so that does it for my get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, and like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing this weekend. Have a good one. Bye.